Jeff Gustafson here talking chatterbaits and these are something that I use a lot all over the place from down south in Florida on the Tennessee River back at home on Lake of the Woods they catch bass everywhere and they're really a versatile bait and you know I get asked all the time when should I throw one which one should I use and I'm gonna break it down how I kind of you know, go about choosing a chatterbait to use and where to throw them. You know, obviously down south on a lot of the lakes that have grass, they're great because they're fairly weedless. And you know, that blade protects the hook and you can rip them through the grass pretty good, cover water and they catch fish. You know, think about places where you'd throw a spinnerbait. A chatterbait will, will do a lot of the same things that a spinnerbait will, but then also give you the ability to fish a little bit deeper, um, you know, into that four to 10 foot range. And Z-Man makes chatterbaits that are up, you know, three quarter ounce, uh, ounce and a quarter even in the jackhammer line that you can fish down in that 15 to 25 feet of water as well. So they're very versatile, sort of a cousin of a crankbait as well, where, you know, they're very easy to use, cast them and reel them in. And you can impart a little bit of action with your rod tip and, and obviously, you know, ripping them off the grass triggers a lot of strikes. You know, obviously I carry a lot of different chatterbaits with me while I'm on the road. And I'm gonna show you, I keep them in these Plano waterproof proof trays. This one I've had around for a few years. And then this is one of the new Plano edge boxes, but you know, so this is just an assortment of half ounce, which is probably the, the size that I use the most. Um, the other box here, this one I'm proud of, and this is like gonna make some people jealous, but this is my box of jackhammers that I carry with me. So I've got some three eighths, some halves, and then some three quarters, and uh, you know, use these things a lot. Keep an assortment of colors with me in the boat, and then, you know, if I have to restock it, then I can sort of throughout the throughout the season depending on where I'm fishing but um, this is this new box this is their jig and bladed jig box that Plano's designed and it holds these baits in there pretty good and keeps them you know dry and rust free and nice and clean so when it comes to choosing which ones to use obviously this is the jackhammer right here and it's been really popular the last few years and it, it's you know for the tournament angler this is a really good one. It's got all premium components on it. You know, a good big Gamagatsu hook, a good snap, hand tied skirts, and really beautiful colors on the skirts. And I use the, the jackhammer bait quite a bit. The other one I use, and this one catches fish, I mean, big time, everywhere I go, um, is the Chatterbait Custom. And this is one that Tackle Warehouse sells exclusively. Um, Z-Man makes it for them. And it's got a nice stout hook in it. It's actually got a wire line connector. So you can see I've got this one tied up with braid and that thing, you cannot open that up with braid. You can use a big heavy rod. So if you're fishing places where the grass is extra heavy, you know, down in Florida here, tech lakes in Texas, maybe in Alabama, and you feel like braid's gonna help you land more fish, this is a good bait to consider because, you know, you're not gonna open up the hook, it's a strong hook, and you're not gonna open up that snap. One thing I find with this custom one is it also rides a little bit higher in the water. The jackhammer tends to dig and dive a little bit deeper. This one, so, you know, that shallower water, this is the one I'm gonna choose more often. Uh, when it comes to trailers, Z-Man makes a razor shad that's designed to go on these chatter baits and I like to cut maybe a quarter inch or half an inch off the end of it and it sort of butts up nicely, bulks out that skirt and it's got sort of a straight tail but it's segmented so it's got a lot of action but it doesn't overpower the bait. Sometimes if you use the tails that you know have legs and a lot of appendages it sort of hurts the action of these things. So this bait does not do that and it looks pretty good and it's just a good size to, to sort of match up with these chatter baits. But another thing with chatter baits is you can use them in place of, of other baits a lot of times. Like uh, for me, you know, where other anglers might throw a lipless rattle bait or, a, or just a regular crank bait or a spinner bait, I'll throw a chatter bait just because I have a lot of confidence in it. And you know, you can do, it's a very versatile, you can do a lot of jobs with this one bait from and fish it, you know, shallow out to, as I said, eight, 10, 12 feet of water and um, around grass, around rocks, you know, at home, 
we throw top water a ton during the summer for smallmouths and if it's windy it sort of takes top waters out of the equation and this is my next you know go-to search bait this is what i'm tying on and uh I catch a ton of fish on it and for the multi-species anglers out there you know walleyes bite these things obviously pike and I've caught muskies on them so they're just a, a really versatile fish catcher and a huge part of my arsenal.